Huge plumes of volcanic ash and smoke rose from Mount Etna on the Italian island of Sicily yesterday. The eruption sent tourists running for safety. Giuseppe Salerno is head of volcanologists at Catania's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. And he joins us now from Catania in Sicily at the base of Mount Etna. Giuseppe Salerno, welcome. So had there been much of an indication that this eruption was coming? Okay, good evening, enjoy good evening in Sydney. Yes, I mean, it's a quiet, uh, I mean, IMGB in Italy has a, a particular ability, capacity to understand where the volcano would to go, like to go, so for the casting volcanic eruption. In particular, this kind of eruption, this kind of explosive eruption are quite predictable in terms of the capacity, the, industry, the, the monitoring system that IMGB has. So it was, uh, for the castable, and in fact, uh, hours before the start, the onset of the eruption, basically the alert level was sent to the authorities. So explain for us what you think has happened in the crater. I mean, it's a just, a, I would say, it's a just a common eruptive activity at Mount Etna. This is a paroxysmal activity that makes lava fountains. Sometimes there are quite usual, common actually, lava flows and pyroclastic flows. It's a just, uh, it, this episode of yesterday is something that uh, is within a sequence of an exp explosive activity at the start of the middle of March, um, due to actually the uprise of magma, moderate amount of magma from depth to the shallow, and then sequentially, I mean, episodically, a trigger feed and this explosive eruption. Yeah. It seemed like a primarily black coloured cloud of material that was expelled from the mountain. Was there much lava with this one? I mean, the, I mean, the volcanic plumes are two different colours. The, 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 there is one that is quite red, and you do because of the pyroclastic flows that, uh, I mean, uh, occurred during the eruption was due to the, the collapse of the part of the collapse of the flank of the southeast crater, the crater that actually failed the erupt activity. So it, this is the case. Yes, that was is uh, running right now. This is, there was due to the collapse of the flank, moderate collapse. Anyway, there was not any specific danger per hazard for the people. Yeah. And how does this compare to other eruptions over the years in terms of size? Okay, so I say it's a very common eruptive activity on Mount Etna, specifically since 2011, hundreds of these episodes uh, occurred. There are very short time episodes. They last a couple of hours, three, four hours, and then that's all. Uh, yes, you are running the 2021. That's a particular period. Basically, between February and March, April 2021, we had uh, this kind of eruption every, quite, quite, I mean, every day. Two hours, three hours, and then it's all stopped. So it's, I mean, to conclude, it's a very common activity at Mount Etna. That obviously attract many people, tourists from Europe, from the world. Yeah, it attracted me there a couple of years ago. And so is it, yes. expect, is it expected at some stage there could be a really big explosion at Etna? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, we are expecting maybe another of these episodes uh, when, I mean, the volcano needs to be recharged new magma and then feed another event. This last event took 20 days from the last one on 12 May. So basically, more time between the episodes, more energy is uh, in, within the, 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 the volcano to expel. So it's probably that we might, might have another explosive eruptions. But you know, there is obviously an uncertainty in what we expect to what to say about the natural phenomena. Uh, so although, I mean, Italy has a very well uh, developed the system, monitoring system, there is always an uncertainty in, pre in forecasting volcanic eruption and whatever it is the natural hazards. Well, what's it like for you monitoring every breath <laughs> virtually of Etna over the past 24 years? I mean, it's a, 
Uh, yes, I'm working here since 2001. I mean, just a small break in Cambridge for the PhD in United in UK. But I'm born here in Catania, so uh, as all people that are Sicilian uh, born in Catania, I mean, just when you open your eyes for the first time, you have just Etna. So, I mean, Etna is part of us. Uh, obviously, I had my degree in geological science, so I started to study Etna when I was an undergraduate. So, obviously, evolving and trying to observe, uh, trying to understand the behavior of Mount Etna or Stromboli, whatever other volcanoes, with uh, technologies monitoring towards, I mean, together with uh, uh, with the science and modeling, it's obviously something that, that's quite fascinating. Mm. Yeah, and with the, the monitoring of Etna, can you explain for us uh, the system of, just ba basically, the system of instruments or mon monitoring instruments that you've got up there, up very close to the crater? I mean, we have, a, just for example, more than a 100 multiparametric station. Multiparametric means geophysical, geochemical, I mean, instrument that uh, monitoring the deformation, but also with the infrastructure, multiparameter administration, there is also observation from the space and from satellite. Yeah. Everything in modeling and then also, also I mean, uh, the old fashioned geology that is the sampling of rocks and analysis. Yeah, and do you spend a lot of time actually up, up around Etna as well? Ah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a, I mean, Etna and the, in general, Sicilian volcanoes are Arctic are my main duty, obviously. Then is also obviously research and expedition in uh, Central America, I don't know, Antarctica or whatever. But the main job also for my duty as head of volcanology is obviously the Sicilian Arctic volcanoes and uh, Mount Etna. Yeah, uh, yeah, it must be a fascinating job. And yeah, you got the, a huge weight of responsibility there being a Catania yeah. boy as well. Um, Giuseppe Salerno, thank you so much for having a chat to us from Italy. Yeah, thank you, you too. Have a good evening.